Hello, VC. Uh, tonight we've got uh, Richard McCook's uh, contest. I'm I'm a a newbie to uh, Richard's channel. Um, he's got a contest. He's got three very cool questions. Uh, Richard has, uh, you know, like I said, tons of subscribers. I found out about uh, Richard and checked out his channel. Very cool. He's got a great collection. Um, so yeah, he's, uh, doing this contest. I found out about this contest, uh, from, uh, Rod, the happy hippie. Uh, he did a, uh, an entry. Rod is very cool. Rod's so cool when he takes his dog for a walk, the dog picks up his poop. I'm dying. Um, so yeah, getting back to Richard, uh, tons of subs, uh, but subscribe to both of these guys. And the first question is, uh, he wants to see uh, three acts that you like. He wants to see their what you think are their best albums and the worst albums in your collection. I can do that. Rod, uh, Happy Hippie, uh, showed some Dylan, but uh, the two I'm gonna show uh, aren't the ones he showed. My favorite, Dylan, is Highway 61 revisited and my uh, least favorite is Empire Burlesque this is uh, an album he put out in the 80s after he did the uh, the religious albums and it just wasn't very good it had 80s uh, stuff on it and the back cover says it all and Corn Pop was a bad dude and he ran a bunch of bad boys. Yeah, he actually had help on this album. He had some good musicians on this album. It just, uh, it's my least favorite uh, Dylan album that I, ha that I have. There's probably a Dylan, that, Dylan album that I hate worse than this, but I haven't heard it yet. Uh, next, uh, oh, this is an album I showed um, in my last video. My my gosh, video yeah. I showed for a Glenn. Uh, Steve Howe, the Steve Howe, Steve Howe album, and, uh, this came out, like, 78 or 79, this is a great album, he'd really gotten the hang of, uh, doing solo albums by then, and I think this is his best album that I've heard, I haven't heard all of them, um, but, uh, yeah, and One to Avoid, is his first solo album, which is Beginnings. I did not care for this. I love the, the cover. I love the artwork. This is, a, I think, a more Roger Dean. I, this is the first Roger Dean album, I think, where he's actually had a, a photo of a musician in, on his uh, albums. But this album just doesn't isn't very good. One of the problems is he tries to sing on it, and he's not a lead singer. And yes, he's a he's a backup singer, but he's not a lead singer. And yeah, I'll you listen to it and you tell me. But uh, yeah, um, Steve Howe, great guitar player, not so much a singer. Uh, one of my favorite bands is Vanilla Fudge. This is a good one from them. Great album, but they uh, managed to put out a real stinker called uh, The Beat Goes On. Cool cover, but the album sucks. It's a, uh, a bunch of sound bites with the band playing cover, sped up cover tunes, which wasn't their forte. They were, they, these, these guys were a, were a band that slowed down some of the, the pop songs and it just didn't work. Apparently, uh, they had a, a manager named Shadow Morton who uh, tried to uh, uh, direct him into an avant-garde avant uh, direction, but it's not avant-garde. It's uh, just terrible. And members of the band, the members of the band, uh, I think it's uh, uh, 
carbonapis heat. These guys even hated it too. They didn't they didn't know how bad it was until it was released. But yeah, avoid it. Or not, you know. Uh, next he wants to see uh, three greatest hits albums that are really all you need from that particular act. And um, the first one I've got is the Association. This is really all you need. This has got everything on it. Great Laurel Canyon band. They put all the lyrics on the back for you. Yeah, why not? I don't need you don't need anything other than that. Uh, next one is another Laurel Canyon band, the Mamas and the Papas. This is a two record set and a onesie, but uh, you could see all the, you know, I do have other Mamas and the Papas albums, but this is really the only one you need. This has got everything on it, all their hits. Um, yeah. Another one was, uh, I actually wasn't gonna put this one, I, had reservations about putting this one on uh, because I thought it had the single version of Time It Comes Today, but this actually has the entire 11 minute version of uh, Time Has Come Today. This is the uh, Chambers Brothers Greatest Hits. Now I have heard all their albums. I don't think I've heard all their albums, but this covers <laughs> it. I'm good for now, but you know, I pick up a Chambers Brothers album. If I find it, you know, I'm going to pick it up and I may change my mind on that. But yeah. Uh, next, uh, Richard wants to see three CDs that uh, you'd love to have on vinyl, which is a great, great question. Uh, the first one is, this is Neil Young, Mirror Ball. This is a uh, album he did with uh, Pearl Jam. And copies of this on vinyl go for a lot of money now, apparently. I was glad to pick this up when it came out. I thought there was a, yeah, there's a little pamphlet with it. I won't go into it. But uh, yeah, Neil Young. Uh, another one that I had a CD. I got this when it couple years after it came out in the 80s I'd love to find it on vinyl now it is nothing shocking by Jane's addiction I love this album now copies are hard to find the the original copies are really hard to find and and even the uh, they reissued this limited edition reissued this on vinyl and those are very uh, pricey also and uh, the last CD that I, I have that I'd love to find on vinyl, it's actually a holy grail, it's called Beat of the Earth. There were, uh, back in 1967, this was pressed, there was only 500 copies pressed. This is uh, a group of uh, musicians that lived in a commune that put this uh, album together and they got it pressed to wax. Um, and we're actually, we've been listening to it uh, for the last uh, 10 minutes. Uh, if you like the uh, the Doors uh, uh, song, The End, you'll like this album. It's just two, two sides of just jamming. Um, interesting backstory on these uh, guys too that I won't get into. Uh, this guy put out two uh, other albums, uh, and uh, yeah, this is just a fantastic album. I, they uh, go for about $4,000 on Discogs, if you can find one. Those are the original copies. They did a uh, repress, uh, but even those are hard to find. So uh, I think I've, I've seen a couple people show them. Uh, Vinyl Richie has one. Uh, I think uh, Snowy, they may have one, but yeah, this is a, four grand uh, 
but they only put out 500 and they didn't put them in record stores. They just put them out to their friends. So yeah, uh, cool contest, Richard. Very clever questions. Um, thank you. I really got to hand it to you. I am a big fan. <laughs> and with that, uh, subscribe to Richard and uh, I'll see you again real soon. Take care.